What's up guys, it's Tina from Hangry by Nature. Today we are at Tokyo Disney Sea and I'm so excited to show you guys our first timers guide to Disney Sea in Tokyo and give you guys the best tips and tricks on how to save money and make the most of your time. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more kid friendly travel videos like this one and we just want to get straight into it. Hi, where are we up to? Disney Sea. Yeah. Is that where we're going? Yeah. No. We found our bus here at Skytree and this is going to take us straight to well either whether you're going to Disneyland or Disney Sea. This bus will take you there. It's 800 per adult and 400 per child. But we're not sure if Raph needs to pay because he's under, well he's two. So we'll let you know about that. But this will take you directly there and you avoid Tokyo peak hour if you want to get to Disneyland early. No, don't leave us. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was the airport bus. <laughs> We are here at Disney Sea. It is 8 a.m. on the dot. The crowds are crazy. Everyone is rushing in. It's a jungle out there, and we got to get to the entrance. Luckily, Savage Mode on. Savage Mode, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. So we bought our tickets. 7-Eleven convenience store ready, so luckily we do not have to buy tickets. Hopefully, the line... Okay, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Look up there. So close to entering Disney Sea. Super exciting. The lines actually moved pretty quickly, so that wasn't too bad because it was kind of scary looking at it from the back. First mission number one is to go and get a fast pass. So we're gonna see how the lines go for that. We'll keep you guys posted. Currently 8.30 in the morning, we made it in pretty much on the dot and we've run we ran straight to the Toy Story Mania ride to get fast passes. It's actually not so bad as you can see. The line's pretty huge at the moment, but we're gonna get a fast pass for the, what time? It looks like it's 1.30 to 2.30. Between 1.30 and 2.30, so we can literally enter right away. So we do highly recommend you do that for some of the most popular rides. Pick out which one you wanna do, gun it in and get a fast pass. And after that, we'll get back to you on what it's like at the designated time that we are allowed fast pass entrance. So this is how the fast pass works. The fast pass is usually for whatever designated ride that you're at. Um, you go to the ride itself and then there's a fast pass entrance and the fast pass machines are at the ride. So you scan the QR code in the machine and then you, the fast pass drops out. So it says here fast pass reminder our entry is between 1.35 and 2.35, so that's when we gotta make it back here to get on this ride. If you miss that window, you miss your fast pass. So, keep track of time. Oh, and also, at the bottom of the fast pass entry, it says when you're eligible for the next fast pass. So for us, we can't get another one until after 10.30. So at 10.30, we're gonna go to the next attraction and find our next fast pass for one of the most popular rides. So keep an eye out. About to see the world in action. What we can be. Life with no distractions. We'll get away. Woo, trying to keep up with Andy. Uh, so what's our first stop right now? So we've got our fast pass. Now we're going to... What? It's like the boat bumper cars. I forgot the name of it already. Boat bumper cars. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we're headed. We're going to be heading there right now because we've got some time to kill before we can get our next fast pass. And we've got a lot of time to kill before we can go on the Toy Story ride. So we've got to make the most of our time because after lunchtime it gets super busy and that's when you're going to have to wait hours to get on the ride. This is the Nemo ride, so this is a really popular one as well. Alright, so we've got a 55 minute wait for this ride. I, I don't think the line's as bad as it would be later, but it's going to get worse. So 55 minutes is already a pretty long wait. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win, yeah. LA BB, who we running with, yeah. Two, two, three, three, I'm on ten again, yeah. Yeah, we're going in. Swim you shaking away, cause I got big racks coming. I put my low racks on it. I ain't skip past losses, I had to get back off it. See the fit lab on it. What did you think of that ride? Good. Was it really fun? Yeah. Alright guys, so a really good tip is to bring some snacks. You are allowed to bring snacks into the theme park, obviously just not full on meals and things like that as they will confiscate it from you. And the best place to get snacks is from convenience stores, so 7-Eleven, Lawson's, Family Mart. So we got a couple of onigiris and sandwiches. Onigiris on the hood here. Because you're going to need them throughout the day. Originally, we wanted to get a fast pass for this 20,000 leagues under the sea ride, but the wait time's not too bad. It's 35 minutes, so we might save that fast pass and get on the ride. As we realized, kind of into the line a little bit, that we should have just gotten a fast pass anyway to walk straight in because we didn't really know what to get it for after that, that our boys could go into for their height. So we just went to get the fast pass, regardless of the fact that it was only a 30 minute wait, just to walk straight in, which is what we're going to do right now. take a minute to tell you just how amazing the set here at Disney Sea Tokyo is. What, what do you think? Well, my favorite would have to be Mount Prometheus. It's like a volcano scene. You can kind of see it behind us. The detail in everything that they've done for it, all the rocks and the different machinery that's sticking out, the boats in the water, it's just so amazing. It looks like, legit. It's so legit. realistic <laughs> and like, you pull and get yourself immersed inside it. Yeah, it feels like you're inside a volcano and the set looks so good, like the one that's actually behind the camera right now is meant to be sort of like an Italian, European setting and it literally looks like Venice, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. It does, yeah. And then you've got like, you know, nautical themed like pirate ships, so it looks so real. It's better than a movie set, that's for sure. And um, in comparison to Disneyland, it's totally different right like yeah it's different themes like this is yeah. maybe a bit more for like Disneyland is maybe more for kids get a lot of kids themes this is actually I found more a bit more mature a bit more older people it's just the overall layout of this place is absolutely incredible and I think for us because we've been to Disneyland this is currently one of my favorites I think this looks amazing here at Toy Story Mania. Our fast pass time is up, so it's a little bit after 1.30. So we're gonna show you guys how effective the fast pass is on the most popular ride in Disney Sea. So we're gonna walk straight into the fast pass line at the Toy Story ride now. The normal wait time right now is an hour and 20 minutes, but we're gonna go right in with our passes that we got this morning, so let's go. My score was 111,000. I beat you. No, I, I did. You're, you're saying, I did. You're just saying no, that. No, no, I went for all the 1,000. Like yeah, I was going 5,000. I know, I got 119,000. No. What, no? I don't believe you. I did. <laughs> I don't Let's go back and have a look. Let's go inside. Let's go back. 
I think we need a rematch. Uh -huh. We need a rematch. That's just impossible. That never happens. No, it happens. This is real, legit. I beat Andy in a game. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know, honestly, that was actually one of the, my favorite rides I've ever been on. Yeah, That's one of the best really rides. Fun. It was actually really fun. The kids, Flo's so hyped about it right now. He's just like, by <laughs> score, I got 1700. 1700. <laughs> And you know what, it's starting to rain now guys and we left our stroller outside here and the staff must have pushed it undercover because everything's undercover now. It's so nice of them. Very nice, look. Yeah. Yeah, flex. I just wanna win. Yeah, LA BB who we running with. Yeah, 2233, I'm on 10 again. Okay, all right. When's the best time to go? So the most obvious times when not to go <laughs> the most obvious times when not to go are school holidays, public holidays, and when Disney release new toys or any special events like Halloween or Christmas. They're the times that you definitely shouldn't come as you can actually miss out. They'll close the door and no one can enter anymore after it reaches max capacity. A great way to tell when to go to Disneyland is use a crowd forecast calendar which you can find on Google. Oh, it's rain. Sad, but you know what? We're not going to let that destroy our fun. Yeah. We're going to keep on going, <laughs> even though we don't have ponchos or umbrellas, but... Well, at least you got something like a raincoat. You got something, you don't. No, I got nothing. You, and he's just going to cop it. Yeah. So guys, remember when you come to Disneyland or Disney Sea, it is by the bay. So towards the afternoon and the evening, it does get colder. So make sure you bring layers, warmer layers for the evening time. Right, it's getting nasty. It's getting nasty out there. What's the uh, plan of attack oh, now? I think we need to go there. That's Sinbad's ride. Okay. Well, that looks like it's undercover, so. Yeah, I think we should try and do make it. Make a move for it. Oh, good that ride looks good too, but it's, yeah. Oh, it's out there. That's um, the Magic Carpet ride. Right Which the kids can go on, I believe. But they're going to get really wet. Yeah, we're going to have to <laughs> wait till it dries right. up a bit. Let's try Sinbad. All right, let's, let's go Sinbad. It. Let's go charge. Charge! So because it's raining, we're gonna go inside the Mermaid Kingdom right here. It looks really cool and it's all indoors and there's a bit of a playground so we can kind of just chill and keep our fingers crossed that this rain subsides. Disney Sea, a lot of the attractions don't actually have height restrictions. Our kids were actually able to enjoy a lot of the rides. You're probably looking at about maybe five of them out of the 29 attractions that actually have some form of restriction. So this is a very kid friendly place for kids of all ages. Yeah, did you like it? Yeah. Yeah? You went so high. Yeah. <laughs> did you get dizzy? No. Another quick tip guys, if you want to do your souvenir shopping, we highly recommend doing it earlier on in the day because by the end of the night, everyone's got the same idea as you can see and it gets really hectic. Shows guys, now Disney shows are an absolute must when you're at the theme park and Disney sees shows are amazing. The highlight of the shows is probably the ones at night with the light, electric lights and the boats here. But um, there are numerous shows that take place throughout the day. Just make sure you grab a schedule as soon as you walk in. But we do highly recommend if you stick around long enough to stay around for the show at eight o'clock at night. It's seasonal and it can change, but um, it's definitely the show to go to. Wow guys, that is a wrap for us at Disney Sea in Tokyo. What an absolutely incredible experience it was. 
I think I have to say this has been by far one of our favorite theme parks so far. Just from how it's laid out, the sets, the themed areas, they're absolutely spectacular. I highly recommend coming here with or without kids. So I hope you guys enjoyed our first timer's guide to Disney Sea in Tokyo. Make sure you guys like this video if you found it useful and make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all of our latest family travel videos. Until then, we're gonna see you guys in some more Smart Family Travel Guides. See you later. <laughs> I don't wanna leave. Uh, the boys don't wanna leave. Andy doesn't wanna leave. We kind of maybe just want to live here.